Find the perimeter of a regular hexagon with the area of 384 times the square root of 3. Now, uh, we find the area of a hexagon using our apothem formula. So area is equal to 1 half times the apothem times the perimeter. So, probably use this formula to approach this question. Uh, when I first start thinking about it, I may be a little bit troubled by the fact that I have both A and P in my formula, uh, two different variables, and I don't know the value of either one of them starting this question. Uh, however, if we remember solving for the area of a hexagon in the past, we'll remember that if you're given one of the side lengths of the figure, you can figure out the apothem. Or if you're given the apothem, you can figure out one of the side lengths. So there might be a way to represent these as a single variable. Uh, so let's see if we can get to that point. What we might want to do is we might want to just start thinking about how it is that we find the area of any hexagon. And it all starts with trying to figure out the height of this triangle here. Uh, the height of this triangle is what we call the apothem of the figure, the distance from the center to the side length perpendicular to that side length. Uh, and if uh, I remember about hexagons, we've got uh, six triangles that can be created. Um, and so if it's 360 degrees around this single point, that means I've created a 60-60-60 triangle, or an equilateral triangle. Uh, if I draw the apothem of my equilateral triangle, I'll remember that I have created two 30-60-90 triangles. That's going to be very useful. Uh, so, if I want to find the area of this, I'm going to start by figuring out, uh, based upon my side length, what my apothem is. So, let's say that the side length is equal to x. Now, if I know that that's x, I know that half of my side length, that length right there, must be x over 2. Uh, and if I remember my ratios for 30, 60, 90 triangles, I'll remember that this is x times the square root of 3 over 2. Now, I might be a little bothered by all of the fractions in this problem at this point. And in fact, there's a very simple way that I can eliminate them. So let's back up just a bit. What if rather than x, I called the side length of my hexagon 2x? And we'll see how, how useful this winds up being. Because if that's 2x, and that means half of it is x. And then that means that the apothem, or the height of our triangle, is x times the square root of 3. In one simple step, I've eliminated all of the fractions from my problem. So, how would I find the area of this hexagon with the side length of 2x? Well, a do area is equal to 1 half times the apothem times the perimeter, which is side length of 2x, so the perimeter is 12x. At this point, I can return to my original problem because we remember that our original problem tells us that our hexagon has an area of 384 times the square root of 3. So let's put our two parts together. 384 times the square root of 3, which is our area, should equal this formula we've created for finding the area of a hexagon. So it should equal 1 half x times the square root of 3 times 12x. Let's simplify this left side. I've got 1 half times 12, which is 6. Uh, so let's see, 384 times the square root of 3 is equal to 6. x times x is x squared. 6x squared times the square root of 3. Now I have an equation that I can solve, an equation with only one variable. It's a quadratic equation, but uh, it only has an x squared, so maybe if I can get this x squared by itself, I could solve by using square roots. So I could divide both sides of my problem by the square root of 3. And square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 is 1, giving myself 384 equals 6x squared. Uh, and then further, I could divide both sides by 6. 384 divided by 6 is 64. So 64 is equal to x squared. I take the square root of both sides in order to find out what x equals. The square root of 64 is 
uh, and in this case positive or negative 8. However, I remember that x is going to be plugged in to help me find my perimeter. Uh, perimeter can't be negative. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. So uh, I could just say x must equal 8. I might be tempted to finish my problem here, but if we will remember that I earlier defined x not as the side length, but as half the side length of my figure. So 2x is going to give me one side length. 16 is equal to 2x, which is one side length of my figure. And I check my problem again to make sure that I've satisfied what it wants me to do. Uh, it says find the perimeter of a regular hexagon, so I simply need to multiply that by 6. And 16 times 6 is 96, so the perimeter of my figure is equal to 96.